Plaintiff William Sloan says he loaned money to a friend who was going through a rough time. But when he needed it back, his friend vanished. He's suing for $4,297. Defendant Tyler Rowan says the plaintiff offered his help with no mention of payback. I do. Case 77 on the docket, Sloan versus Rowan. All right, and welcome. Morning. We have the plaintiff, Mr. Sloan. Correct. And you are suing the defendant, Mr. Rowan, for $4,218 for multiple unpaid personal loans. Yes, sir. Tell me your story. Well, Your Honor, Tyler and I worked at Treasure Island Resort yes. Casino outside of Red Wing, Minnesota together for oh, about okay. two years. What was your job there? Though? I was a uh, payout clerk, and a, a Tyler pay was a caller in bingo. Oh, okay. I started loaning Tyler uh, some money. He, first time was $20. Yeah. And it started out as, you know, small amounts like that. He ran into some financial problems, uh, lost his job, was going through a, a, a divorce, and had two kids. Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, it gave him eight bags of groceries because yeah. he said he had nothing for the kids to eat. And, you know, I liked the guy. You yeah. know, we were friends. Uh, and I felt, I felt bad for him. How much over time did you loan him? Over $4,000. Did you loan him in cash? Did you write a check? Checks and cash. All right, what do you have? He's loaning you this money. What do you have to say about that? I was absent from work and obviously was going through something at home. And my wife relapsed on drugs. Mm. So overnight, I became a single father of two a two year old infant daughter and my nine year old autistic son, which was very hard to deal sure. with. It was just the worst time probably ever going through in my life. And um, I understand that. When, uh, Bill, we would talk about it at work, and one day he said, just ask. So he did offer to help you. He was being very nice about that and gracious. Oh, very, yes. Yes. Very, and I was very grateful. But you thought that was a gift? Yes. So he's thinking it's a loan, and at some point, you stopped giving him money. When did that happen? One of the checks, the last checks I gave him was for $460. He was, like, he was out of work, and I said, here, this will make it even 4000 and you remember that conversation? Yes. If he says to you that this will make it even 4000 the only way that statement is relevant is because it's $4,000 of a loan. I understand. I understand what you're saying. I remember the $460. But last. you don't remember him saying this makes it an even 4000 I do not. Well, after that, uh, he called me one day and said that he had a, just remembered he had a shotgun that he had pawned. He said, I don't even want the shotgun. If you get it out of pawn you can have it so i went down to the pawn shop put it on my credit card and i had to go back the next day and get a refund from them because for some reason i don't know what it was they wouldn't let me have the shotgun tyler was there i wrote him out a check for the 218 dollars in yeah. some sense and said here when you get the shotgun bring it over i never saw him again he never was paying you back he did give me a couple hundred dollars one time and one then he time. called back about Three days later, need to borrow two hundred dollars again. Okay, so at some point with all of this, yep. a rational person would say, "Enough's enough." Well, would also say, "This guy's not paying me back." Well, he did give me a hundred dollars in September. But you're saying four thousand dollars, and he paid you a hundred. Were we you were... upset that he no longer was in touch with you? Because it seems very like upset. You were really befriending. I him. was very upset. And the only time that I ever noticed he got upset was once I lost my job at the island. Are you two friends anymore, or does this suit end it? I'm not sure. You were helping him out because he, you really enjoyed this friendship in a sense. It was. You know, we got along real good. And we were very, very good friends. Why um, wouldn't you pay him back? When I lose my job overnight that I was making very, very good money on. Are you working and, now? Yes, I am. And I just currently started a decent job two months ago. Now, I think maybe we, we can have some kind of resolution here. To me, a loan would be an end date, you know, a monthly payment due, of, or when do you expect to be paid back? So in his mind, it's a loan. In your mind, two feelings are appropriate. The first is I'm out of a job. My family, I am just burdened. Every morning is a burden to get up. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna deal with all this? So that's a understandable thing and probably the last thing on your mind with all that you gotta deal with, with your kids, no job, all of that. I feel for you and I could understand that on top of your list of things to do is not to pay him back, uh, your friend. That 
that he's a friend. Hopefully that can be put off for a while. And on the other hand, though, once you are in a position where you now have some income, part of that income ought to go to pay him back because it's not reasonable to believe that a guy just gives you $4,000. Do you have any copies of the check? Yes. May I see them? Yep. Yeah. And so here are, here are the checks. Well, on the checks, it does say loan. $200 loan, $600 loan, another 200 These checks do say, for the most part, a loan. And you also write on it how much all the loans together come to. And I guess it, the final total here is 3221 Yep, then it was cash with that also. Okay, but for these checks, they were loans. I have to say I... You never read that? I honestly, no. I've never really written checks for... Just okay. never really written checks, but, I guess I never... And that memo line, yeah, okay. He wrote down it's a loan. Loan, 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 loan. And so I'm only going to give you the checks that you've offered me as proof. So... I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $3,221. Hey, YouTube, check out my new show, Judge Jerry. Now, for sneak preview and behind-the-scenes footage, subscribe to my channel now.